back. Uh, hi guys, it's Ian again from Q-Tips um, and I'm going to continue showing you uh, the, the digitizing or creating this, this layout and in this tutorial we're going to use some CAD tools to start actually um, setting out this layout with a, a, line, a line layer or a, a line type. So the first thing we'll do is just create a new layer and we'll go to the new layers select line we want to make sure that it is the same coordinate reference system as our project view you can add one new field we'll just leave that like that I'm not going to add too many I don't want to be populating any of them so I'll just leave the one for now and then we'll say OK and we'll call it layout layout there we go added a new view and if we have a look at the attribute table we'll see there's no records because nothing's been captured brand new layer so let's just uh, what I want to do is just change the, the the default color which is green and just make that a light blue and that will make it uh, pop up a bit better now here is the uh, the image that we're going to capture over the top of you can flick that on and off and we're going to use these these lines and we'll use the the boundaries uh, much like we did in, in much like I did in, in capturing it with a, a hard copy to to capture the actual lines digitally I'll be offsetting and using distances and that sort of thing okay so we got that now um, the tools I'm going to be using are CAD tools now in the past I might have exported this as a DXF and then opened it up in AutoCAD and then saved it as a, a DWG and then done the digitizing there uh, and mainly because I preferred the CAD tools but nowadays most of the GIS packages either have plugins or their own tools which um, just make it more powerful and uh, easier to use so I'm going to use some CAD tools now and this particular one is a plugin so I'm going to open them and if I just type in CAD oh there it's already selected is it there yes this is the one I want to use so QCAD is, is the, there's a couple others, CAD digitizing and CAD tools, but the one I want to use is QCAD, and I'm going to install that plugin. And wait for that to do its thing. It shouldn't take too long. Come on. There we go. I'm waiting. Nearly there. Okay. Done. All right, so we can close that down. And uh, a whole bunch of tools have just been added. So the, the toolbar is already added. And then there's this new window here. And you should be able to turn these on and off from the, the, uh, the panels. Uh, there we go. So there's the actual text window. I'm going to leave that one open so I can see the history of the commands. And here's another one, I, the QCAD, this, this is the toolbar, and this is the dimensioning toolbar, which I don't need. So I'm going to turn that one off, okay, so I'm just going to be using these ones. And I don't think I'll use all of them, but uh, we'll try explore most of them to give you an idea of how they might work. Okay, so we're going to start um, by changing our snapping settings. Uh, control points, no, I want to use, I want to be able to snap onto the site boundary. I'm going to make this 20 pixels. We'll say OK to that. And then just open up, we'll select the, the layout layer that I've created. I'm just going to toggle editing and start capturing a new feature. So I want to capture this boundary line. And I'm not going to enter any of the attributes. You can always do that later. So I've captured that boundary line, that boundary line, and then this portion of the boundary line. And I'm going to use these layers to offset and create our, our layout. Okay, so there we go. That's done. I'm going to just click Save for now. And the first one we can use is the Offset uh, tool. So if you, if you hover over these, these various tools, you'll get to see what they are and let's use the offset tool and the distance we want to offset is just 35 for the length 
So I'm just typing in 35 down here. And then it now tells me which, okay, what do you want to offset? I want to offset that. And then which side do you want to offset it to? I want to offset it to this side. And then right click and enter to finish the command. Okay, so there we go, I've offset that line. So it's duplicated it and offset it. I'm going to do the same for this side. Repeat the offset. You can repeat the offset with a, a right click on your mouse. And I'll do the same for this top line. Okay, so you see it's lining up quite quite closely to our existing drawn layer. And next step will be to offset these further um, by 10 meters. We're going to use uh, 10 meter road widths. So I'm going to right click to repeat the offset, except this time I'm just type in 10 meters there. Enter and I'll select offset and put on that side. Now you can just continue. Uh, so this machine's a little slow. Just select and offset. Okay, so you see I skipped a step there. Previously I was I was I was entering, finishing the command, and then redoing it. But within that command, you can just go and click any item and offset it, and it duplicates it, which is quite a bit quicker. Okay, so that is one tool which uh, you never used to be able to use in a lot of the CAD packages. The next thing I want to do is just use the Extend tool, which is also useful. I'm going to click on the Extend button, and I want to extend to this line. Right-click and extend that one and that one. That's sufficient. Okay, so I can enter that. And another one. So the opposite of Extend is the Trim tool. So let's select the Trim tool. And select the line we want to trim to. Right-click and then Trim, Trim. Right-click to, to run the command again. Repeat Trim. Yes. Enter. Repeat Trim. Yes, this one. Trim, Trim. But actually we can trim that one to this line. So just repeat that Trim. Select that one. And there we go. So we've chopped those lines off. We can do the same with this one. Except I want to trim this line back. But I don't want to trim unless there's a break here. Because if I do trim back to here, we're going to lose this portion of that line. So I first of all want to split this section. So where is the little splitter? I know there's one somewhere here. And I think it's this one. So we break an object at one point. Okay. So we want to break this line. And we want to break it here. Okay, so it's added a node in there and it's it's broken those two out. If we use the selection tool, it should be it should have two lines now. Okay, great. So now we can trim that one back and trim this one back. So let's do that. Using our little trim tool again. Using this line, we're going to trim that one. And trim again, we use this one. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. And you can see this is slightly off. Now that could be because my georeferencing is off, but more than likely it's because of my, my drafting skills, or maybe not quite up to scratch. Right, so I'm going to show you one last little tool before I crack on and, and just do the rest of this and speed up the video. And the one I want to use, uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a line, but then I'm gonna use the same snapping type options that we, that we set using QGIS, except these are the snapping options for the, for the, for the uh, CAD tool. And I wanna snap perpendicular, just to make sure I can draw at right angles. I'll say okay. Now if I zoom in here, I want to create a new line and draw it perpendicular to that line. Okay, so there is that line. And then I just want to move it uh, to best, or fit close, as close as possible to this. And what are we going to do? Where's my little moving tool? This is it here. Remove this one. Right click and then just sort of position it there. Okay, now that I've got that one perpendicular to this line, I'm just going to repeat uh, this line using the offset tool and just run down the whole side using the width of our site, which is 20 meters, and just repeat that going forward. So that's what I'll do next.
Okay, so I had a couple issues with that other project. So I've just closed it down. I think it might have been corrupt somehow. And I've re-added the, only the layers that I need to this new project. I'm going to continue editing those as we go. Okay, so I've hit a little snag here. Well, it's not really a snag, but um, if you want to make this uh, a, a decent layout, um, you know, we need to try and share pegs because surveyors generally 
charge per peg. So if we can get these two property boundaries to share the same peg, that would cost less in the long run. Um, but having said that, this is not a huge layout. So it's not like um, sharing pegs is going to save us uh, a whole lot of uh, money with a surveyor. But I would like to try and get them to kind of line up. So I think I'm going to get them to line up. And then if I have a, a larger earth, we'll actually just use that larger earth for the, um, the real estate section of the, of the property. Um, something to that effect. So, so I'm either going to use this one and shift all these down. I think it's going to be better to come this way. Maybe I'll just shift these down and, uh, and leave it like that. So let's, let's try that. So he has another possible issue. We mentioned that uh, we wanted to try and keep the, the earth sizes above 700 meters squared. And this one is looking a little small. It's a little on the small side. And then we've got some bigger ones. So we're just going to check how big this one is. And it might actually be OK. I doubt it's going to be seven, um, 700 squares. But we can, we can see. Uh, so what we want to do is, OK, so we just want to Make sure we select the right tool. So under our measuring area option, we're going to leave it at meter squared. And then let's start capturing this little area here and see what it says. So it's close to 600. You know, I lived on a property that was smaller than that. And I think these guys will be fine. Maybe just charge less for that one. OK, so I'm fairly happy that that is, is the same as the site underneath. And we've got our, ooh, maybe what we should do. Okay, one last thing. We're just going to tweak this road around the corner here because I see this existing building is, is overlapping on this road. So I'm just going to straighten, put a little kink in here so that this road can come down here. And then maybe the development can have a little parking place down here or something to that effect. Okay, I think we finally got it. I'm happy with that now. Let's convert this into a polygon. Currently lines, we're going to convert it into a polygon. And we can do that in the in the next tutorial. So please join me for that one. Cheers.